So first thing that you have to do is buckle or fasten your seat belt. Um, and I'm also joined right now with Dan from What's Inside <laughs> Channel. The cameraman. I am hired help today and it's been a blast. <laughs> it's been fun. So once our seatbelts are on, we can go ahead and hit start ride. You can also initiate it from the app as well. You have the same option. It shows you you're going to arrive in 10 minutes. And you can see that right up here. You can also see the full self-driving right up front. No one is in the driver's seat. We do have a safety driver joining us as a passenger. Safe, safety safety not driver, monitor, maybe? Safety monitor <laughs> in the passenger seat. Now, um... I don't see anything at his feet, but I will say all of them, everyone that's been in that passenger seat has had their hand on the door. Now I can't tell exactly <laughs> if there's an extra button there or not. They also do not talk to us. Every time we try to ask them questions, they say they're just here for our safety. So it's hard to kind of, you know, find out too many details, but I have noticed that the hand is right on the door like that. Um, as far as his controls you can see up front it says pull over stop in lane and support so he does have those buttons on that center screen for all of those we just had somebody that commented like why don't they move the seats all the way forward i get it on this side where we have the safety monitor i'm pretty tall i've got a little bit of room yesterday i was in the car and there was somebody that wasn't <laughs> as there was a lot taller in the front and i barely had any leg room this is a model y but that's true on this side right here with no driver i'm yeah. surprised that it doesn't have more room yeah. good comment very good comment and you know you think about this versus cyber cab now this is robo taxi which is the service and could be any vehicle right it could be any vehicle it's a service so any tesla that's out there with full self-driving could be a robo taxi and that's kind of what we're showing here today where cyber cab might not even have like eventually you'd like wouldn't really need to worry about a driver's seat because it would just be, essentially be a passenger seat right and you don't need a steering wheel because that's not the intent of, of cyber cab which is the dedicated vehicle that would be used for this service so there's a, a difference between robo taxi and cyber cab one comment is do you have full control of the climate during the ride you do so let's kind of go over this so right here you can control all of your climate also if you're a tesla owner it syncs with your preferences automatically which is really nice when you get inside you also have you know if you want to control the music or listen to a podcast or something you can do that you can play some games in here there's some different games you can like go through you can kind of see what we have options of right here can also watch watch something watch some youtube hulu netflix uh netflix and chill or maybe wait till this guy's out of the car for that one and wait till you have your husband yes exactly <laughs> um so you know there's like options in here for all of this stuff um is this your regular you listen to las manitas is that I your favorite that just came it's out. your profile so yeah that's i have no clue i don't know but you, <laughs> we also have the options you might see to pull over as well <laughs> somebody just said try pull over we have not pushed the pull over we have button. not pulled that i've i vetoed it yesterday and kim wanted to do I it i wanted to try it i want to try it. but i imagine it does just kind of pull over like if you freak yeah. out or something and then you can even call for support yourself if you wanted to. And you have all those controls right here. Um, very comfortable because you know it's a Model Y, it's very comfortable riding, but you can see it does a really good job. Um, the first time you get in here, oh look at there's that could be another one right there. I'm not exactly sure. There's another Model Y coming. Uh, it might be a regular Model Y. Yeah, it was just a regular one, yeah. Um, but earlier we saw it stop for a cat. We saw, um, you know, it, it go through some tough intersections and it just, it drives very human-like. Like that's the whole goal of it with the cameras and the AI is to teach it to drive like a human. Um, we've also taken several Waymo rides um, to kind of compare it. And what's unique about Waymo here in Austin is that you actually order a, an Uber and then Waymo comes up as an option when you um, order your Uber 
but sometimes Waymo drops you off and it drops you off. Like we had one where it dropped us off actually 10 minutes, a 10 minute walk from where we were trying to go. And it didn't give us like any kind of warning of that. With this, one of the rides that I was thinking about choosing, it told me ahead of time that I would have a two to three minute walk to get to where I needed to go. So it was nice to know that ahead of time and then make that choice if this is what you wanted to do. And again, this is just the first, the first week that it's opened up to a select few. And we are in a geofenced area in South Austin right now. We don't have access to highways or freeways to be able to try it on that. It says how many rides have you, are you able to do? As many as you want all week, as many as you want. Um, so yeah, we've, we've did but it all there's, day. But as far as it, there's only 20 people though. So yeah. th it is very limited number of people that were approved to do this. You were one of them. I am your plus one and you could take even subscribers if they were in town and they wanted if to go with. If anyone was in town, I could have them come with me. I thought it was only going to be just like one plus one and you know we'd have to go through something but honestly as you get in here it looks like it could have been anyone um you do pay though it's 420 to take a ride which is kind of funny so i'm i'm paying for every ride i take i personally pay for that ride um and then what's funny is that when you get out of the vehicle you have the option to rate it there's like five different lightning bolts and so you can give it essentially a five star five lightning bolt rating and then it has an option to tip and if you go to tip it's kind of funny it's just kidding because obviously there's no one driving there's no one to tip other than maybe this guy this guy might want that tip i don't know but it's kind of a funny little it has a sense of humor you might say but you can see right now we're in a little bit of traffic i think it's interesting the camera is faced backwards or it's faced for the safety monitor so the, the the rear view camera is that way are you able to open up windows yes here we are you want to see <laughs> there we are hopefully i don't drop the phone this is live <laughs> yes but yes you can also can you guys give a thumbs up or a subscribe for kim because this is like your first live stream in yeah. for so long i don't do a lot of live streams but i thought you know i just wanted to get something out there quickly i am filming Which, by the entire... way we got a train in front of us that's what we're waiting for oh, that's the crazy. train this you can actually first. see it. it looks like a big bus or something going by that's Let's kind see. of funny there's the train yeah a bunch of buses yeah. just cruising by and then you see the yellow lights flashing from it oh that's funny yeah. So Dan and I both have um, long form videos as well that are currently being edited and we hope to get those out as soon as possible. Um, and we have some exciting things that we did on there that I don't know, should we tease it yet or, or so, wait? Somebody did just ask like, what would happen if the weather was bad? And yesterday it started raining. There was this big rainstorm that came through. It was dumping rain for probably 30 minutes, but they had delayed it already. I don't think they delayed it anymore because of the rain. But most weather, I think you're okay. Now there's no LIDAR on this. And mm -hmm. so if it was, if you were in San Francisco and they launched this and it was very, very foggy, I would imagine they would need to take a break because it is using vision, it's using the cameras and there are limitations to what that can see through fog. Yeah. And we, we did also see a Model Y with some interesting hardware on top of it being tested. So I don't know if, uh, there's something else coming, but again, you have to this watch. This is day those. two right now, yeah, so day two, <laughs> there's more coming. I don't want to say too much because we have a lot of it in our long form videos. So definitely make sure that you guys are following along because we're both posting um, a lot of stuff that kind of happened. And to answer that question, I did drive in the evening last night and there was like a really strong sun glare and it did kind of cause something. So make sure you watch that video. It's coming very soon. I hope to get it out to you. But this is just kind of to show you guys what it's like, kind of the entire experience. Um, so you guys can feel like you're here with us right now. Again, it's kind of crazy. It's trippy to be in here for the first time, not have any driver in there. But after you do it for a little while, it's weird how you are like, you almost don't even realize it. You're like, it drives so human-like. I appreciate, I appreciate that we haven't stopped on the train tracks like that Hume did over there right after a train. Oh, we're signaling. We are moving. Yeah, there you go. Woo. Again, it drives like a human. That was kind of an <laughs> aggressive little- uh... That really was. Look at it. And look at it going back. It's getting aggressive. We got yeah. cars back there following us that are going. 
Yeah, that was yeah. a good move right there. Would you document the payment and invoicing process? I haven't seen that on other channels. Okay. I mean, we're live right now, so you can't really see yeah. any of the apps on her phone, but all the charges are going to your phone, and it's really funny to see yeah. them. It's like 420, 420, 420, no matter if it's a one-minute ride or a 25-minute ride, which we've taken 25-minute rides. This one's already at, like, 10 yeah. minutes. So it's all connected with our Tesla account. So it's kind of like when you go to supercharge, and it just sort of automatically happens. Um and it, obviously you see the charges on your account, but you don't, it's not something where you're like putting your credit card in and entering it. It's like you already have an account with all that in there and it just sort of happens when you get in and accept the ride. Look at all the things that it can see. I mean, you've seen this, but like, it is pretty awesome to see all the different cars, all the different people. Like Kim said earlier, there was a cat that went in front of us. We were going pretty fast and it just slowed down and waited for it. Very human-like. Yeah. If you had luggage, is there an option to open yes, the hatch? Yes. So truck? we, so that's actually is an option right when you get in, and we have some bags back there, as well. And on the app, you can open it up, and you can go ahead and put your bags in the back right away. One question said, "Will it drive if your seatbelt's not on?" No, it won't. You just sit there, and we tested that in Waymo yesterday, also. Mm -hmm. And it also would not drive until our seatbelts were on. Yeah. So yeah, that's an important thing. Yeah. And. And yeah, at this point, I would imagine there's a safety monitor in here because there's still a steering wheel on this. Um, if there was no steering wheel or if it was steer by wire, maybe it would make more sense that somebody could take yeah. over the car. I think it's smart that they are being overly cautious when it comes to this rollout because if there was an incident, that could be really bad. Um, and this is a really, really big deal for Tesla because if they can pull this off using cameras and AI, they're gonna be able to save tons of money um, and, and get these out way faster. And that's really gonna change like the entire landscape when it comes to autonomous driving vehicles, when it comes to how we get around. So it's a huge, huge deal right now to make sure this rollout is perfect and in their favor. So it makes sense that they do have the safety driver up here. Also, there's like, a lot of regulations for all this and texas there was talk texas might require more more stuff for them there was like would this get pushed back there was a lot of stuff behind the scenes going on so i think that maybe one of the ways they were able to get it out was to have that safety driver and these extra little stuff and honestly it sort of makes sense i mean this is the first time they're doing this with non-employees but it's been going on honestly Robotaxi has been going on for employees now for a few months. We even talked to a guy um, at a Tesla showroom and he said he's been using it to go back and forth to the Gigafactory for a few months now. And yes, it will drive like a human. It's going 38 and a 35 right now. As you saw, as I zoomed in, it looked a little shaky, so I zoomed back out, but it is technically speeding, but it's only a few over, oh, 39. Okay, so we're going four over. We're going five over. Yeah. It's listening to me, and it's like, I'm going to speed up. We are breaking the law Slightly. right now. I don't know 41. if that counts. But you can see over. these cars right 42. here. They're We're passing us. Over. The car in front of us, That's though, true. is passing us. That's the thing. So, Keep up with traffic, and cars are passing us. So that is human-like. You don't want to drive like a grandma all the time. So, yeah, we're doing pretty good. I feel like... As long as you're not going like 10 over, you're usually in a okay safe zone. Here we go. We're close. Are it says, we? gather your belongings. You are close to your spot. So we're going to the beautiful restaurant of uh, Red Lobster. Yes. We've <laughs> kind of just been picking random places to go back and forth where we feel like we can get some turns in and a good ride in. And I just wanted to show you guys that. And we also, um, Dan rented a car here during our time in Austin, Texas, and that's where our car is right now. So, um, Ford Lightning. A Ford Lightning, <laughs> yes. We are keeping it electric. Um, but yeah, we have long form videos coming up soon. So make sure you guys watch those and put, if you have more questions, put them in the comments down below. I'll check it and try to answer everything and get to it. And, um, might be time to bring back our podcast with PJ and, try to go through those questions and answer them all as soon as possible and just kind of get you everything you want to know. 
thank you for the four dollar and twenty cent uh, donation. I saw your name pop up really quickly, oh. I, but I couldn't read it. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, what would happen if somebody grabbed the wheel? I don't know. Honestly, we're the, not gonna do that. But the no. biggest thank you I can get even more than money right now is just subscribing to the channel. Uh, that that would be a huge help for me. I'm trying to build up my subscriber count. I know a lot of you guys watch and are not subscribed, so that helps a lot. It goes a long way. This is our parking spot. You can see the Ford Lightning over there. And somebody walking right over here as well. So there you go. It says, please exit safety. It also shows you how to get out of the car if you're not familiar with Tesla's because it's a little button right here. Some people don't know. Let's open the trunk. You have the option to open the trunk right here. Get all of our stuff out of there, camera gear, everything. Yeah. All right, let's go outside and wrap up out there and show what it looks yeah. like. That's it. Um, after this ride again, we're filming on my phone right now. You can't see it. I have the option to rate the drive. I have the option to tip or not tip. It's kind of a joke, but you can see RoboTaxi right here. Regular Model Y. Walking all the way around to give you a view. The safety monitor is like, hey, I got rides to do. <laughs> he's, he's a nice guy though. He just kind of chilled the whole time. Okay, we got all of our gear. And then let's so wait. Much. Let's watch. Let's watch it drive away. Let's see how long it takes. Right. Typically, we have to go into the app and select it and say end the ride. But let's see if it's smart enough to know. Yo, we're good. Yeah. I wish it was a cyber truck. I saw some people comment on that. If it was a cyber truck, you'd have so much room in the back row. I think I just saw him reach over. So he may have ended the ride for us since we did not end it. There you go. Bye. He waved to us. See, he's a nice yeah. guy. I would love to hear his internal dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> one, one guy did talk to us yesterday and he said, I'll just tell you I'm really excited. That's about all he could say. Here he goes, going around the Red Lobster yeah. parking lot. <laughs> so I guess that's pretty much it. So definitely leave a comment. Let us know if you have more questions and I'll try to get all that answered.